Hey guys, welcome back to the Shimmer Tales. Hope you're all doing well. So today I'm going to be reviewing the YBP Beauty Blender. Uh, this is the make makeup perfecter in Lust, and this is how it looks like. It's much smaller, and when you actually wet it, it uh, gets bigger. And I am totally in love with this. Let me tell you all, I had gone for a trip to Singapore recently, and along with me, I just carried this to blend all my makeup in. And I had my other makeup brushes just to do my eye makeup, but just for the face, I carried only this, and I literally survived for a week just with this beauty blender because it's that awesome. Like. Literally, it blends in all your makeup so well that you do not even need like any extra brushes to do your contouring, highlighting. Everything just sets in just using this beauty blender. It is extremely soft and it is uh, priced at rupees twelve hundred. Uh, and it is uh, very small when you actually receive it, and when you actually um, put it another tap for like. 10 seconds or so it gets bigger and uh, you have to squeeze out all the water all the excess water if not you know it'll start smelling bad because uh, you keep using a lot of makeup products and if it's wet inside it starts smelling bad so what you got to do is you got to squeeze out all the excess water that's there and just leave it a little damp that will already be there on the beauty blender and what you got to do is you got to uh, just start you blending up all your makeup with this and um, it's really soft and it blends it just like the beauty blender the original beauty blender and um, I'm so glad that YBP has launched this and it's much cheaper than the original beauty blender and it's uh, it's shaped like this so that you can actually uh, you know uh, blend all the makeup under the eyes and everything very well all the concealer that you have under your eyes you can blend it extremely well using this and I am totally totally in love with this uh, so let me show you how I do my makeup using this and then you all can know how beautifully it's blending in and how beautifully um, the contouring happens using this and it's damn damn nice and I'm so impressed with this product that you know I definitely give it a big thumbs up so check out my video on uh, uh, how I do my makeup using this so that you can know how to use it uh, very well so keep watching start off by using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm in the shade 10 and I'm going to be applying it to cover my uh, dark circles first, a little bit on uh, the top of my forehead and uh, where there are spots and every other area where there's uh, any redness. So I'm going to be blending it now with the Beauty Blender by YBP and I'm going to take the thinner side to blend it well under the eyes and then do it all over my face. I love how everything's blending in so easily and it's actually so effortless. And I'm going to just do uh, it once again and uh, cover all the spots that are left out. Next, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline uh, uh, sorry, Compact and I'm going to be uh, co uh, covering it. Uh, but on the areas where I've applied the concealer so this makes sure that the makeup is set in place then I'm going to be using my MAC Studio Fix foundation in NC42 I guess yeah NC42 and then I'm going to just uh, apply it all over my face and take my beauty blender and blend it all in It is so soft and so easily blendable that you don't really have to put in much effort at all. So I'm just applying a little more to cover it fully. Now I'm going with the concealer again to highlight some areas of my face. I'm going to create an inverted triangle under my eyes to highlight that area. And then on my forehead, a little under where my contouring is done, and yeah, and I'm gonna blend everything in again with the blend, beauty blender. And you can see how much uh, difference it has made from the very beginning. And I'm also just setting it all in using my compact. Now I'm gonna take the next bronzer and just warm up my face a little bit so that it doesn't look too white. So that's the trick again 
and even contouring it's like so easy to do it with this that you don't really need any other brush at all so I've just warmed up my face a little bit now I'm going to take my Savannah baking highlighter in the shade 3 and I'm just going to highlight it a little bit so as you can see the face has been very uh, nicely highlighted and also one more thing I wanted to uh, tell about the beauty blender is uh, that you uh, can wash it with some very light uh, shampoo or you know soap what I do is I use the Johnson's baby shampoo to wash this and I uh, squeeze out all the water and leave it for drying and then use it next time again so uh, that's how you actually have to clean this and do not use it um, with any kind of rough detergents or anything it will not um, you know be as soft as before you need to maintain this really well and uh, let it dry naturally uh, and yeah that's how you clean it and uh, don't uh, store it in any box because it won't dry naturally and it will smell so that's what I wanted to say, say about how you have to uh, you know uh, clean your beauty blender so hope you guys like that tip as well and uh, do subscribe to my channel and keep watching bye uh, I generally use a Michael Kors, my Michael Kors tote the most because it's pretty huge and spacious